Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome to another video. Now, guys, this is gonna be the beta that just came out for Paladin, Paladins, I think. I don't know what to call it to be honest. It's something that I have to deal with. But um, this is Paladins. Now, this is a little bit different of any sort of gameplay I've ever actually seen. It has a little bit of that vibe with Overwatch. But um, it also has um, some of the deepest and the most powerful players and the powerful characters as well in the whole game. And I thought it was actually really good. So if you guys do intend to join the gameplay, if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And I'm actually going to give you guys my feedback on what I actually think of this character, which is Victor. He does a ton of damage. And let me tell you, I've literally played through this guy the entire time. And he does a ton of damage. And let me say this once and I'll say it once again this guy does a ton of damage so my word of advice is just you and this using this guy but anyways what I'm really trying to get through is I haven't been uploading for a while and the only reason I haven't been doing that is because there's not that many games that's coming out right now so I'm trying to figure out what type of videos do you guys want me to do and that's really up to you guys if, if you guys want to see more videos that really is up to you guys but anyways, um, in this game in particular, and I'm just going to keep talking about it, in this game in particular, I didn't think that the graphics and everything like that would look so different from any other game I've actually seen. And I was very new to it, so I didn't know what to do. Um, I took the training and everything um, and put everything together in my own mind, used my strategies to figure out what to do. And then I realized the hipfire actually works in this game, so I actually did use that, which is a little bit easier for me. Now, my big concern with that is, is just the um, impact that goes on with other players. Because knowing the players in this game, they could be, have, like, big, big advantages against a lot of people in this game. Especially other YouTubers, like me, anybody that's bigger than me as well. Like, way bigger than me. If anybody would go against them, they would actually, like, have these tactics and strategies to go through it. So it's really hard to use these topics in tag. Uh, it's really hard to use these tactics in this type of situation. So you have to be a little bit more careful. Plus, you don't know what you're gonna do and deal with. So, anyways, so let's talk about um, a certain amount of things. First of all, let's just say this: when it comes to being on the flat, uh, well, on the spot of this um, of the map in the middle of the map, you have to make sure that your strategy is a little bit on point with this guy because sometimes the straightened shots don't work as well and most importantly um the shots will go over on um, them and most importantly it won't hit their health boost so you gotta aim in just a tap just a tap that health boost like you gotta make sure you tap it that's what you gotta do now what my big big issue with this guy is is the fact that he is a little bit reckless I can tell he's a little bit reckless and that's my main problem like his gun doesn't do that much damage but he can do damage to other people that's just something that I meant now my problem is he doesn't do that much damage to people to be honest with you and if you look at the um, amount of kills he gets he doesn't seem to have that much damage on towards that big and, and huge gun like he doesn't have that much Control, but when he actually is like camping down the um the payload and most importantly the middle he can actually ground that down He's mostly a tank basically so What my big concern with this guy is if you can at least fix his movements and hit the way he plays and the style That would be greatly appreciated and by the way, this is just the beta so they're probably going to fix them later, and um, these are just my, like, big theories on what um, will happen to this character. But mostly, what really will happen in this character is the fact that it will be too overpowered to use, so they will probably nerf this guy. Maybe. Probably due to his defense, big defense, they probably, probably will actually, like put him down like put him down in damage and defense like his toughness is going to go down so they will do that as soon as the beta is over but anyways like I said it's kind of a struggle I'm not going to lie to you 
And in this particular type of game that we're actually playing right now, it's really hard to go through the um, tactics and the environment with the other characters. So it's really hard for me to actually like figure out what character to use and what character not to use. So I'm going to actually go through all the other characters in the next video. But um, in any case, what I really want to actually um, talk to you guys about is mostly this gameplay in general. Like this gameplay was actually really good. Like the game was strong. Um, the team was strong. It made the team more stronger when you go through it. Like the other players just got in, and they're very like much new into the game, so they actually have like the amount of advantages than I do, because. Most of the time, I'm not that smart around the playing field. And when it comes to being around the battlegrounds, you don't seem to have, like, a strategy on the map. You don't seem to have th that much of a strategy. But in this game, I didn't actually have, like, that much of a strategy. But then again, I didn't know what to do at this point. Plus, I was playing with the, um, uh, talking stuff. But anyway. Let's just get you guys straight into the gameplay. And most importantly everything else so the first thing that I really like about the um, game is the fact that you start with horses and that's something that I didn't actually quite expect the horses are a little bit easier for me to actually count down because most of the time I'm not used to like going out there on foot when it comes to doing defense and all that stuff so what I think is better is only doing the um like hip uh, well, I guess I could probably say this. I think it's best if you do, like, the, um, I guess the overtime? Like, the overtime when you actually start, like, doing gameplay in, in general. When you start attacking, I guess. But when it comes to defending, it's a little bit hard. So, all I'm trying to say is you got to do a little bit better when it comes to, like, defending in this game. And my down part with the horses if you rush them with the horses you might be able to get yourself killed but if you're that lucky then you're good trust me I'm not that lucky in this game but anyways but what I'm really trying to say here is the fact that if you use the horses too many times to the point where you mess up you're going to end up just using them way too much and the next thing you know you're just gonna end up on the wrong turning point of winning a game like you end up on the wrong point because what will happen is when you charge them more than usual not only that you will die too many times you will also end up losing the target and letting them win that's the main problem now always rush middle and always middle don't rush any other place and that's my word of advice because in this gameplay in particular, I think that's what changes the perspective of the game in general. Is only to rush middle and always defend in camp. Always do that. Like, it's just something like that. Like, this game has that certain type of um, tactic and strategy in it. So, I think that's how it goes. So, you have to make sure that you have the amount of attention and potential and most importantly the toughness and the guts to literally rush camp and most importantly camp the spot that you're supposed to be in especially camping the payload always do it because first of all that will actually lead you to victory rush the spawn but don't rush their spawn when there are like so many people out there with this guy I think you can actually do it but you gotta be in a certain spot to do it. But anyways, yeah guys. Um, that's pretty much all I gotta say for this gameplay. Other than the fact that it actually does a little bit better and the graphics don't look that bad. I still like this game gameplay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.